All right, so I now want to show a few new features of Pivot Pal based on some of your requests and feedback. The first one is a layout tool. So typically when you create a pivot table, it's in this layout here with the subtotals up at the top and in a compact form. And you can see that by going to the design tab on the ribbon and you can choose some of these different settings for subtotals, grand totals, report layout. You can also go to the analyze tab and to, into the options menu and there's a ton of options here that you can choose and select to make your pivot table look and behave a certain way. But these uh, options are time consuming to actually apply and they take a lot of steps to do that. So PivotPal has this new feature called Pivot Layouts and this window here will basically allow you to save some of your custom layouts and then quickly apply them to your pivot table. So here I've already saved a few layouts that I like. For example, this one shows more of a report style with the totals at the bottom down here. It also adds blank rows between each pivot item and a lot of other uh, settings that it automatically applies. This one, for example, outline with repeating labels is one that I created that will just show the pivot table in outline form and uh, repeat all the labels. So this might be good for some kind of lookup if you're trying to look up data in the pivot table with all these repeating labels over here. So with the My Pivot layouts, you can basically do anything you want, any of these uh, different options for the pivot table you can change and customize and then you can save the layout uh, save a new layout and do all these things with these layouts so you can create your own custom ones and apply them very quickly the other exciting news is that pivot pal now works with power pivot pivot tables so if your data models contain hundreds of fields uh, pivot pal will make it very easy to search through those fields find the field you're looking for in different tables you can see I have different tables listed here in my search results and then add that field uh, to your pivot table so for example if I want to add the month field across the top in my columns here I could just search month I'll find it in my dates table here and then just add it to the columns area and that'll add it to this power pivot pivot table here